Welcome back to Speak for Yourself. The Eagles are a seven-point underdog to the Steelers on a road Sunday, according to Fox Bet. And Carson Wentz's squad is trying to extend their first-place lead in the NFC East with their second win of the season, taking on a tough 3-0 Steelers team. So, Marcellus, you think the Eagles can run away with the division with a win on Sunday? Hell no, run where? <laughs> <laughs> on what treadmill? Don't do this. Ain't going, do this. <laughs> Ain't going nowhere. Ain't going nowhere. What can they run away? First of all, they're not going to win. But beyond that, where are they going? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you go back into the history and watch some of the classic television shows, like the Three Stooges or something. You ever seen one that just hold them by the neck and they'd be like running in place? <laughs> How about Tom and Jerry, anything like that? Point being, the Philadelphia Eagles are going nowhere. Even if they were to miraculously win this game, which they're not, uh, you know what's in front of them? <laughs> Look at this schedule. Three weeks a stretch after Thanksgiving around. Seahawks, Packers, Saints. If I'm anyone else in that division named the Dallas Cowboys, I'm sitting there like, they're going nowhere. And the fact that they have no confidence to go anywhere. Oh, we won a game? Yeah, because our quarterback was running the ball. Probably going to get hurt again. Ooh. Oh, okay, you know what? Well, we, uh, we tied Cincy. <laughs> oh, that ain't good. Uh, we played Washington in our division. Oh, no, we lost that game. Okay, here's the point. They have What's no, the point? They have no confidence, and even if they were to muster up enough confidence to execute and win a game, they're not going anywhere because they're still going to be one and a half in front of a team named the Dallas Cowboys that they have to face two more times. The Eagles can absolutely run away with the division with the win on Sunday, but it's because mentally... Not statistically. What we already know is this, Marcellus. You've said it, I've said it just okay, 30 minutes good, ago. Good. They're, they're only going to be a game and a half up. Thank you. That's how I get, get that. So where are they going? They, but here's where they're going. In the la if the Eagles do win on Sunday, what would have happened in their last three games? You would have tied the Bengals, a team that we now realize actually isn't terrible because Joe Burrow is a stud. Yeah, you know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have beat the 49ers, a team that is maligned but still has one of the greatest coaches on the road, mind you. And then you would have beat a 3-0 Steelers team. Let's look at what else would have happened in the NFC East last three weeks. Cowboys would have lost to the Seahawks, lost to the Browns, and beat an 0-4 Giants, or lost to an 0-4 Giants. The Giants would have uh, lost to the Cowboys, mm -hmm. and lost to up? the Rams, and lost to everybody else. <laughs> the and then count. the football team, we already know, like, they don't even know what they're doing at quarterback. Uh. So here's what I mean. The Eagles can run away with the division, not statistically, but they can sit here and say, wait a second, we're trending upwards. Everybody else is on a Deep slope mm. downwards. Mm. They, yes, the Eagles lost to the Washington football team week one. That loss is going to haunt them for a long, long time. But you got to remember, y'all got to put that joint behind you. Mm. Think, if the Eagles do beat the Steelers, they're the only NFC East team that would have actually had a credible victory on the season. The Cowboys, on the other hand, because realistically, it's Cowboys-Eagles. That's what this conversation is Thank about. Thank you. Cowboys can't gain anything this weekend, Marcellus. They have nothing to gain Mentally, and everything to lose. I give you that. I give you that. Nothing to gain. They need a win, though. They need a win. <laughs> okay. But, but, man, you've been in them locker rooms. You, if you beat an 0-14, yeah. you're just kind of like, okay, yeah. we, we were supposed pa to. Pass the mashed potatoes. Absolutely. Right, right. But the, it's the Eagles. If you beat a 3-0 Steelers team, it's like, wait a second. Wait a minute. I missed all this. We're actually good. Yeah, uh, okay, I give you that part. I won't give you the part where you whispered understated, maligned 49ers <laughs> team. You said, maligned? <laughs> <laughs> maligned? You caught that? Yeah, they literally showed up to play the 49ers in Levi Stadium. Like, where they at? Uh, like, oh, you got to make a right by the hospital and go in there. That's where all the players are, in the hospital. There were no 49ers available to play in that game, and you get a win off of that. I'll give you that, even though it's not the way you want to win, which is why I'm taking shots right now at the Eagles. This is amazing that this division, as you have termed, and I love it, NFC Least mm -hmm. is in this position where you're really saying, it's not even a war of attrition. It's like, who's going to backpedal and cross the finish line first? Because eight wins wins this division. I mean... Yeah, maybe seven. Maybe seven. Maybe seven. Be real. I, I am being real about that as well. Like, so if you're any team... And let's just be real, let's narrow the focus, as you said, Cowboys. How can you ever feel like you're out of it if all you have to do is get to an 8-8 eight and eight finish line? That's a good point, but the question on the floor is, can the Eagles run away with it? Yes, Damn. they can run away with it. Can they get caught? Yes. Oh. See, let's go to the okay, details. Let's go, let's let's go. go to the details. All right, I'm running. If the Eagles are a game and a half ahead, and they will not see the Cowboys until later in the season, as I look at it. The yeah. Eagles aren't going to see the Cowboys for a little... Good. They're not going to see the Cowboys for a little minute. Yes, they can run away with it. Now, will they get caught? Who knows? Potentially. But if you go out there and dominate, think about this, because, oh, we've been here before. When? When you take an L, bro, 
and you you finish your game, say you play the one o'clock game, and then you get back to the crib and you're watching the four o'clock game, and you're like, man, we just lost to the is that the Eagles beating the Steelers? Mm. Like, are, are they nice now? Mm. Did Carson Wentz just mm. beat this squad with a mm. bunch of nobodies? Mm. And meanwhile, you are Dak Prescott. You just lost Tyron Smith. Mm. Huge loss, mind you. Cannot understate mm. that. And you like, I don't know how we gonna get through this season. Mm. So, yes, the Eagles can run away with it. Okay. The Cowboys might be able to catch them week 16 when they see them on December 27th, a half game back. They might be able to catch them, but they can for sure run away with it right now as it stands. Oh, my God. First of all, your timing right there, you play a 1 o'clock game and then you're watching a 4 o'clock game. Did you ever shower? Like, how you get home so Shower fast? pill. <laughs> shower <laughs> pill. I'm like, how you get home to see the game right after us? Damn, Acho nasty. All right, here's a conversation I'm having in my head because I listen to you, Acho. Uh, people say I talk a ton, mm -hmm. but I actually listen even more. I'm a very active listener. And I remember someone coming out here with a great Wiley-ism saying hard work beats talent when talent it doesn't work hard. And then I started looking at these rosters. I'm like, which one's more talented? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The Dallas Cowboys are more talented. Absolutely. Absolutely, right? Absolutely. So now you start to say, well, what's going on? They're not working as hard. There's conversations about commitment, about effort, things between the ear. And you know that in football, the hardest thing to dress up is no talent. Mm -hmm. But if you have talent, if you don't work hard, yeah, you can get undressed, but it's easy to put them clothes back on. The Dallas Cowboys are going to be in a position where they're like, the world is caving in on us right now. But we're not maligned in terms of what the Philadelphia Eagles are dealing with, and we're not as under-talented okay. as the Eagles are, if that's the thing. Can we go here? Let me, let's so go come here. come on. They're going to fix this faster. Let, but, ah, ah, I, that, I'm, glad ah. You, I'm glad you let me there. No, because now let's talk about... The Eagles are the only team in the NFC East that does not have internal issues. What do I mean? The, what? Let me speak. The football team, they have a complete quarterback controversy. Internal issue. That is an in-house problem. The Dallas Cowboys, I don't think Mike Nolan, their defensive coordinator, makes it through week eight. Like, Jerry Jones consistently is talking about, ah, oh. uh, we can't fix this. Ah, uh, we're going to fix this. Ah, uh, we'll find a way to fix this. The, 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 the New York Giants just... I'm not going to address y'all. Y'all know y'all sorry. Um, but, <laughs> but, but, but when you think about the Eagles, they have external issues. People like Marcella said, bench Carson Wentz. Put in Jalen Hurts. Bench Carson Wentz. But the Eagles don't have internal dysfunction. I'm not talking about injuries. I'm talking about internal chaos and confusion. Oh, Football team oh, has oh. a quarterback controversy. The Dallas Cowboys, they have a coaching controversy. Oh. Let the head coach, Jerry, uh, uh, owner rather, Jerry Jones, mm. tell you. But the Eagles have the best head coach, and they don't have the internal issues. I'm not talking external as you scribble uh, like a doctor. <laughs> you, are, you are so nervous when this pen be moving. Here we go. Okay, I know for a fact that there is some belief conversations in terms of players on the team believing in Car Carson Wentz going forward. You've been on teams before with high money dudes. It could be your best friend. Hey, that's my bestie. But be real, if he ain't playing well, walk around that locker room two laps. You're gonna hear people like, hey, bro, <laughs> talk to your bestie, bro. <laughs> I know this for a fact. I'm not calling out anybody. I'm not gonna wet snitch or dry snitch. I do know that for a fact. But that is not something I should be reporting, even though I did. Here's talk about there have been reports in years past about Carson Wentz's leadership. Not so much this year, but there have been conversations to the point where people have to take up for him. We even heard Fletcher Cox this year. Well, his true. declining butt. <laughs> I love talking about declining players because I was one. Declining butt. No, he's our quarterback. Why do you do that? When you know that somebody's saying he ain't your quarterback mm -hmm. that you're listening to in that locker room. But last but not least, you say there's no dissension, there's no conversation. Internally. Internally? Mm -hmm. Is Jalen Hurts on this roster still? Oh, oh. He is. Did he get drafted this year? Oh, he did. Oh, oh. I wonder why. Dude, if there's no issue, there's no dissension, what is Jalen Hurts doing there? He ain't gonna play? What, he playing receiver on some um, wildcat routes? The point of it is, if this hits some more adversity, what I'm talking about will fester. What I'm talking about will manifest. Until then, go ahead with your hot take right there. All right, it's time to make our Super 6 picks. Let's stick with the Eagles and the Steelers. Which one, Acho, is going to win? By how much? I'm going with my heart over my head. The Eagles are going to win 27 to 24. You know what? You convinced me. Um, I'm going to make the score closer. Eagles 24, Steelers 37. Make sure you get your Super 6 picks in for free before kickoff Sunday for your chance to win. Wonder what Paula from Nevada did with the 100 grand she won last weekend. She in Nevada, I know what she did. And for top story scores and more, go to the Fox Sports app.
Coming up in our big story, Tom Brady had a rare mix-up in last night's loss. We'll tell you if he's actually good enough to carry the book. Next!